Barrier Methods I take care of my body by practicing safer sex. Sex can be super fun, but STIs and unwanted pregnancies really aren't. So how do we protect ourselves? One way we can do this is by using barrier methods. A barrier method is putting a physical barrier between your body and a partner's body. Like a force field, firewall, or wall of bones. (laughs) Only joking. The type of barrier we're talking about is a prophylactic, like a condom, dental dam, or latex gloves. A condom is a tube with a closed end, made of very thin latex, polyurethane, or polyisoprene. One type of condom is an external condom, which is worn over a penis, and is usually just referred to as a condom. Here's how to use an external condom. Carefully open and remove the condom wrapper. Place the condom on the head of the erect hard penis. If uncircumcised, pull back the foreskin first. Pinch air out of the tip of the condom. Unroll the condom all the way down the penis. After sex, but before pulling out, hold the condom at the base. Then pull out while holding the condom in place. Carefully remove the condom and throw it in the trash. You need to make sure that the condom is the right way up so it rolls down the penis. If you put it on inside out, it won't roll down. If that happens, throw it away and use a new one. Because the outside of the first condom has already touched the penis. Condoms come in many sizes, but regular sized condoms fit a wide variety of sized penises. A condom should always fit tightly. But if it's too tight for the penis, it can be more likely to break. If regular condoms are too tight, you could use an extra large condom. Using a condom which is too loose can mean it's more likely to slip off. So if a regular size condom doesn't feel tight, you could use a smaller size. There are also internal condoms, which are worn inside a vagina or anus. Internal condoms are often referred to as female condoms, but anyone with a vagina or anus can use them. Here's how to use an internal condom. Carefully open and remove the condom from the package to prevent tearing. The thick inner ring is used for placing inside the vagina and holds the condom in place. The thin outer ring remains outside the body, covering the vaginal opening. Find a comfortable position. While holding the outside of the condom at the closed end, squeeze the sides of the inner ring together with your thumb and forefinger and insert it into the vagina. It is similar to inserting a tampon. Using your finger, push the inner ring as far as it will go until it rests against the cervix. The condom will expand naturally, and you may not feel it. Be sure the condom is not twisted. The thin outer ring should remain outside the vagina. Guide the penis into the opening of the condom. Stop intercourse if you feel the penis slip between the condom and the walls of the vagina, or if the outer ring is pushed inside the vagina. To remove, gently twist the outer ring and pull the condom out of the vagina. Throw away the condom in the trash after using it one time. Do not reuse it. It might seem safer to use more than one condom at a time, but friction between layers of condoms actually makes them more likely to break. So only use one condom at a time. If you're having sex for a long time, you can take the condom off and put on a fresh one. If there's lots of penetration happening, a long time might be every 15 minutes. That's longer than average. It's also important to use lubricant with condoms because it makes everything slippery, which means less friction and less likelihood of breaking the condom. Kit will tell you all about lube a bit later. Sometimes a person doesn't get erections or their penis doesn't get very hard. This can be a challenge for using condoms. One trick is to start unrolling the condom over the tip of the penis and then hold it gently outstretched and carefully roll the condom the whole way down the shaft. Or, if you're performing oral sex, you can hold the condom covered tip in your mouth while you finish rolling the condom down with your hand. If the penis isn't very hard, it's easier for the condom to slip off during sex, so it's not as safe to have penis and vagina or penis and anus sex. You can still safely have oral sex and just make sure you hold the condom on. Or you can use a dental dam to cover the penis and testicles for oral sex. I'm going to tell you a bit about dental dams. 
A dental dam is a thin sheet of latex, which is about the size of an A5 piece of paper. They were originally used by dentists to cover a mouth while they worked on a tooth, but these days you can get them for sex. You can place a dam over any kind of genitals or over an anus for protection during oral sex. To use a dam for oral sex on your genitals, a good tip is to place the dam on the edge of a bed or chair, sit your naked bum down on the dam so it stays in place, spread your legs open, and stretch the dam up over your bits by holding onto the front two corners. This means it's not going to move while your partner performs oral sex on you. For oral sex on an anus, a good tip is to spread the dam over your lower face like a mask. It can be difficult to keep the dam in place between a partner's butt cheeks, so holding it over your face is often a lot simpler. But don't forget to breathe. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about gloves. Gloves are just what they sound like. Gloves which are used as a barrier for sex are usually made from latex or nitrile or polyurethane. They're just like doctor's gloves and they can protect a partner's genitals or rectum from your fingernails as well as protecting your hands. Usually hands are pretty low risk and often don't need protection but if you have any cuts or broken skin on your hands and fingers then you might want to use gloves anyway. A really important part of using barrier methods is to keep them slippery so they don't tear or irritate your skin. There are many different types of lube. The most common ones are water-based lubes, silicon-based lubes, and oil-based lubes. Water-based lube is the most popular type of lube. If you have ever used KY jelly or wet stuff, you've probably used a water-based lube. They're generally good all-round lubes, safe to use with condoms and other latex barriers, and usually safe to eat even if they don't taste amazing. Silicon-based lube is most popular for anal sex as it doesn't sting when it contacts tiny tears in your skin. Tiny tears are more common with anal sex than vaginal sex, but for people who have a vagina and take testosterone, the tissue may be more fragile and tiny tears can happen during vaginal sex with fingers or a penis or anything else. Silicon lube is quite popular with trans people. Oil-based lubes are things like Vaseline, baby oil, massage oil, or anything else which is based on any type of oil. It is important to know that oil deteriorates latex very quickly, so if you used oil-based lubes with latex condoms, there's a really high risk that the condom will break. Things like almond or apricot oil are popular choices for massage and sex using hands or fingers. If you use oil for massage and then have sex using a condom, it's important to remove all the oil before you open the condom. Using barrier methods correctly is a pretty reliable way to prevent STI transmission and unwanted pregnancies. No method is 100% reliable though, so it's still a good idea to have regular STI testing and use another form of contraception if pregnancy is a concern for you or your partner. 